everybody, and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Wednesday, April 26, 2017. I'm Michael Schwarm. And I'm Nathan Wood. Please remember, everyone, that you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Nathan, how are you doing today? Not bad. Um, my, actually, th my day started pretty fucking awful, and then it's progressively just gotten better. Yeah. Yeah, I woke up this morning and it felt like my kidney sh stone had shifted. Ooh, that's yeah, that's no fun. So I was yeah, I was not having fun. And then um, I just I've taken enough medicine and I think it's scarred up the the area that it's in. So you know I can I can still feel it sitting there. It's scarred up the area. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> I well, so whatever. Um, so like I can I can still feel it sitting there and it's it's very uncomfortable. But it's not like what it was earlier. Because what it felt like earlier, when I woke up, it felt like someone was stabbing me. And then throughout the day, it felt like someone was gripping it really tightly. And then now it just feels like there's a rock sitting in it. Cool. Not cool. Like, Sounds terrible yeah. and awful. I, exactly. So does that mean that you'll maybe pass it soon? I hope. I've been forgetting to take this fucking rapa flow that I have, but whatever. What is that? It's usually for old people. It helps uh, dilate your urethra. Oh, okay. That. Mm. Yeah. So does that mean like your your piss is just like whoosh, when you're? It's <laughs> gonna blast them with piss. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> well, I mean, if your urethra is opened up bigger, it's like a bigger channel for... I mean, <laughs> I guess. It's going to just be real quick, because I don't normally pee very long anyway. Just... <clears throat> oh. So, yeah, all right. I don't know where to go from that, so I guess we'll just, we'll just get started. Sure. <laughs> Nathan's like, yeah, sure. Stop talking about my dick. Yeah. Astrophysicists study rejuvenating pulsar in neighboring galaxy. This is submitted by Jackson five eight zero one three to R space. So this is actually in the Andromeda galaxy. There is a small neutron star, and neutron stars are slowly the, the most neutron stars are slowly dying as they slowly spin slower, and they're going to eventually turn into a black hole. This one Thank though it ended up <laughs> getting close enough to another star that it started pulling <coughs> the. Um, excess energy off of the other star and it started revving itself back up. Whoa. Yeah. What? Uh huh. So it was going to die and then it absorbed another star and it was like, haha, suck it, loser. Well, it hasn't absorbed the other star yet, but it's starting to. It's own No. That's not a star. Death Yo. star? Yo. No, not the death star. That's the star killer. But we can see the the energy around it. I mean, and w I guess it would make sense though. I mean, because it's in a galaxy f uh, long ago in a galaxy far, far away. And is it long ago? Yeah. Technically. Yeah, I mean, the light we're getting from it is over a million years old. So that's fair. That that's pretty damn old. Damn! What if we just witnessed like the death of a fucking solar system? I imagine we will. Well, okay. I mean, like, but, like, by laser beams. We just need more, uh, more visual things, like cameras and... and... Blow up planets, you know? They're pretty visual. Is that your ultimate goal, is to blow up planets? I mean, I can't outright say it, but yeah. Okay. Is that just what you want to see happen? I just, I just, I am that guy that wants to watch worlds burn, plural. At, does it have to be at the same time? Preferably, yeah. but I'm up to uh, I'm up to, to discussion on that one. So, if you could blow up a planet, which one would be first? Mm. Mm. Uranus. Yeah. Yeah. Just cause because it's funny. Yeah. Because yeah. you're twelve. Yeah. Well, at least you're honest about it. So, uh, keep on rolling on that space train for a minute, would you? Nine. China and Europe to build a base on the moon and launch other projects into space. This was submitted for Mania for Beetles to our Futurology. 
So it's a great idea. I'm really glad that we're doing this. Well, yeah, and they've come to the realization and agreement that for peaceful space exploration, it's not going to be the task of one country. It's going to need to be a worldwide effort. And what they want to do is China and Europe want to build a essentially a moon base on the surface of the moon where it would then essentially be like a, a deployment zone of like, okay, we build things here or it's this is a good in-between for things to go from Earth to the moon. And then from the moon, we send it somewhere else in space because getting things in and out of Earth's atmosphere is just so damn much pr- trouble. Uh, but it's a lot easier to get it out of the moon's atmosphere because they don't have any good job you genius yep yep i I connected the dots but uh i extrapolated that data data is it data or is it data uh, i say data i hope it's data for the sake of the rhyme i'm pretty sure you can pronounce it either way Mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure both are completely correct um here's here's a funny thing though is that uh the United States ha- is turning up our nose and saying, uh, no, we, we don't want to work with you guys. Yeah, but if it was, like, a year ago, two years ago, we would have been on that shit. Well, the idea is actually because of legislation that we had, it straight up bars cooperation with China over concerns of their strong military connections that their space program has had. And that's why they're not allowed on the International Space Station because most of their space work has been in a military fashion where that is not the direction that we want to go with space. I see. They want to militarize space in case the aliens come. And we're just like, no, we want to talk to the aliens. Because we're dumb. You got to fight the aliens. You gotta, you gotta be like, Earth goes hard. America goes hard. Not just America, the entire Earth. Of course, uh, on that same note, though, I do question w- which countries would be, like, pro-alien and which countries would be, like, anti-alien. It depends on the kind of aliens. Well, I, I mean, if, if they show up and start shooting at us, I'm pretty sure all of the countries are gonna be like, shoot them back! Right, but if they just show up before they start shooting at us, some countries are going to start shooting at them. Damn it. Are we going to have to have an immigrant discussion when the aliens show up and be like, I don't want them dare aliens living on our soil. Exactly. It's going to be like the Marklar episode of South Park. God damn it. Please no. (laughs) They've made an episode for everything. How can I not? They've been running for like 13 years. Of course they've made an episode for everything. Wait, I'm sorry. It's not like the Marklar episode. It's like the, um, oh, fuck. Oh, God. I forget their names. Oh, God. They have weird, goofy-ass bodies and shit. Keep talking. I'll look it up. Okay, I'll just move on then. A chemistry professor in Florida has just found a way to trigger the process of photosynthesis in synthetic material. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking <laughs> that up. Uh, shit. This is submitted by a Brown to our Futurology. So... What this is, this is a major breakthrough in the world of clean energy as well as... The goo bags. Cleaning up the greenhouse gases that are leading to global warming and climate change. And that's one of the things we're trying to avoid. So what he did was, is he figured out a way to create a molecule that is mostly made out of titanium. And it has these little, basically like pores in it that are able to catch carbon dioxide. And then if you... Aff- basically shine them with sunlight it'll release the carbon dioxide in a clean form so it spritz it spritz spritz words damn it science we've made artificial plants kind of yeah except it's made with titanium and you blast it with sunlight and force carbon dioxide through it and it turns it into clean free energy oh my god i agree with david Uh, fucking self-replicating robots that can power themselves yep that's how it ends yeah, you know, where I fully believe we're going to be death by robot someday. Well, the idea right here is one: it completely cleans CO two. Like one of the ways that you could clean up uh, ga- greenhouse emissions is with more plants, but that's difficult. Um, so instead, we could 
do this on a, a level of where the biggest offenders are in terms of greenhouse gases. I mean, you've heard about like scrubbing when it comes to power plants, right? Where they try to pull the CO2 before it leaves the power plants. What this I would have not actually. Oh, okay. Well, what this would do is it would allow them to pull the CO2, run it through one of these machines and turn it into perfectly clean, free energy that then could either go to the power grid or power the power plant itself. So, I mean, it's just we're theoretically trying to to make unlimited free energy. It's not even theoretically. I mean, as long as we have the materials, we can. All it, right. This guy's already proven it. I mean, it, it, he it, he literally has a tube that is full of a rope light that shines blue ultraviolet rays into the center, and he drops it in there, and then it goes, blip, look, free, free burnable gas. So we don't need coal anymore. We haven't needed coal for a while. Uh, and we don't need oil anymore. We'll need oil and uh, well, see, here's the thing: is that we don't need those things because we have alternatives to them. But the infrastructure for those is already built, right. so we have to get over the old infrastructure first. You just got to start replacing everything, which is slow and expensive and arduous. But I feel like it's necessary. Oh, it's definitely necessary. Necessary, and it will happen. Just people don't want to. And it's not that we don't want to. It's that the people that own the, the coal and the oil and stuff don't want to. Because they're making money. They, they make billions. They will, like... A hand over fist. I, I, is there something larger to describe it than hand over fist? Uh, dick over foot? Like, tr like I, I don't know, like, pool loads? No. Okay, I, I tried. I tried. All right. Got to be fair. Seven. Republicans exempt their own insurance from their latest health care proposal. This was submitted by Kagula84 to our politics. So this has since changed, but I'm going to give you the full story anyway. So okay. initially they had tried to repeal the Affordable Care Act, otherwise known as Obamacare. Those are the same thing. Um, and it was rejected. I mean, there was the Freedom House Caucus that said, no, we don't agree with the changes in here. There were several other Republicans and almost all the Democrats that said, fuck you, no. Um, so that bill was then removed. Well, they went back and they went back to the drawing board and they found, then they rewrote it in such a way that it was then approved by the Freedom House Caucus as well as some of the other people. However, there was language in there that allowed all of the legislators as well as their staff and immediate family to not have the changes put onto them because a lot of the changes are hurt your coverage like it would add, it would remove the pre-existing condition clause and it would reduce the coverage and it would allow states to be able to change things ex unless you were one of the lawmakers and everyone's like that's kind of shady and not fair because you're just getting to pick the stuff you want and giving us the leftovers now, that has since been changed. Representative Tom MacArthur from New Jersey has made an amendment to the bills to where it affects them the same way it affects all the other Americans, and that is the version that is moving forward. Well, that's good. They corrected a problem. Yeah, I mean, people pointed it out, and he goes, yeah, no, that is wrong. I will put forth an amendment to it, or it has another actual name an on addendum? it. An addendum? Maybe. No, this straight up says amendment. Um, okay. But the, he, here's one thing, though, is that so it was actually his aide that was talking about the provision that's being entered into the bill. Um, and But he the aide specifically wanted to note that they did not write it, they did not draft it, and they did not add it. They simply were like, yeah, we can do that. So I don't know what that means. It means someone else fucking stuck it in there for them, but they were the ones that actually went forth with it. Well, I mean... That's fine. They went forth with it. They were told no. They needed to change it, and they did. Well, and, and here's the thing is, like, what their current provisions are looking to change is they're looking to make it a bit more flexible because right now the ACA is not very flexible. You have to have this. You have to have this. You have to have this. Um, and it, that's what leads to the prices that people com complain about. Even though it's extremely cheap health care when you're broke as shit, cheap health care is still fucking expensive. And what this allows states to do under the current litigation of how it's written is would allow them to pick and choose things that aren't required in their states, which would then make insurance cheaper for in, in their state. So because like right now you need like right now ACA 
mandatory is it is mandatory that the insurance provides things like maternity care, emergency care. Um, it also approves things or pre existing conditions. And like what that means is like if you are already broken and then you get insurance, your insurance will cover you being broken. Where normally the way it works before that that's the way that the Affordable Care Act works right now. They want to change it to where if you are broken and get insurance, your insurance can say, no, that's a pre-existing condition. We're not paying for you already being broken. Right. That almost happened to me when I broke my wrist. Yeah, and there's two situations to that because on one hand, you're like, yeah, it would be great if my insurance helped me when I was already hurt. On the other hand, for everyone else, that makes the premium go up because they have to pay for people that are going to be broken and then get onto insurance and immediately start submitting claims mm. right it's kind of a double-edged sword there depending on which side of the sword you're on wait if it's a double-edged sword it shouldn't matter what side of the sword you're on one side cuts deeper that i mean if they're a double edge they should cut the same no. Unless you have a shitty sword. No, here's the way it's a double-edged sword. One side, you've already been cut on, and you want to get it fixed. The other side, you have to get cut to help the other one. Oh, okay. That's fucking... There was logic Ow. in there. Goddamn, double-edged sword. Ow. You're welcome. So, this will this is going to be part of... This is then moving on to the Senate Budget Committee, which means that it is most likely going to be part of the budget bill, which is going to, supposed to be being passed on Friday. And so it looks like your health care reform will be coming. That's good. Whether you wanted it or not, whether you agreed with it or not, that's just what they're looking to do. I mean, I I think this the health care that I'm on isn't going to change very much if it does. No, it, it probably won't, but we'll see what happens. I mean, because our insurance is provided by the state, I'm not sure what provisions that actually falls under. That being said, I'm one of the I'm one of the guys that'll say like, yeah, let's let's pay for everybody's health insurance because everybody should be healthy. Yep. And you're also a guy that's got his health insurance and then proceeded to start slamming that insurance button. That was not my fault. Oh, I know, dick bullet. I did not plan to have a dick bullet. That's fine. I did not plan to get lactose intolerancy. Well, dick bullet. Yeah, I mean, shit. You, you lost the... I don't feel like you lost the genetic lottery that bad. Like, you got a couple of strikes with, like, your allergies and the lactose thing. But otherwise, I mean, like, you're you're not fat, you're not ugly, you're not stupid, so... Yeah, I guess. Also, I mean, you won the lottery of being born in America. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. Yeah. So. Six. Oh. Donald Trump says, see you in court after federal judge blocks his sanctuary city's executive order. This was submitted by RPSZ to our politics. So, <laughs> Donald Trump, who's just been slamming on the anti-immigrant train as long as he can for essentially eternity, he tried to do the travel ban, didn't work. Tried to do the Muslim ban, that was also rejected. So instead, we Wait, have... that they're like the same thing. No, the, the, those were two separate things. The, the trap... There was two attempts... At the travel ban, and it was labeled essentially the Muslim ban because all of the travel ban places were Muslim predominant places. Right, but they were they were separate things, is what it I is. I mean, it, I they 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 were pretty much the exact same thing. Right, but do you, did you want me to refer to them as both of the travel bans or both of the Muslim bans? Yes. Okay. Either way, um, those were both rejected, and then so we have sanctuary cities in America. So, uh, these are like Seattle and San Francisco, uh, areas where the city has chosen to not recognize federal law based on immigrants. So and it's not just West Coast; it's the East Coast too. Like New York is yep. a sanctuary city. So what that means, if you are an illegal immigrant and you go to those cities, you will not be removed and deported if you are in that city. And Donald Trump knows this, and he's like, okay, I want to get rid of the illegal immigrants. You guys won't let me do it my way, so I'll tell you what. If you guys won't let me, I am going to pull the federal funding from your city. And this is, equiv this is, this is equivalent to more than a billion dollars a year. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, though, is that he said that it would only be protecting law enforcement – the funding would only be going towards law enforcement because he's like, okay, we are not going to fund your law enforcement if your law enforcement is going to be defending illegal aliens. 
But with the way that the federal funding provision is set up, there is no way to prove that it will only be pulled from law enforcement. It will also hit things, other things in the public sector, like the actual state governments, things like uh, education, um, the nonprofit organizations. Those are all things that are very often federally funded. And so with that, there is no way that he can prove that it will only pull from the police force. It will also hit things like the firemen and stuff like that, and that's not something that the cities are okay with and the judge was concerned about so he rejected the order mm -hmm. uh there was also mention about someone calling calling it a weapon what's a weapon um pulling funding from from the cities in what way uh is like as a weapon in order to curb fuck i, re I read it in, in a bbc article earlier today Mm. Okay, but uh, essentially he's saying like you're you're pointing a dangerous stick at us by trying to pull our funding. Sure, and in a way it is. It it's it's an aggressive strong move. arm tactics. It's bullying. Yep. Pretty much, yeah. But Trump believes that he's going to take this to Supreme Court, which okay. I I wonder how the Supreme Court's actually going to rule on that. I don't know. If it even actually goes there. Yeah, yeah, if it does. Instead, they might just try to rephrase the way that that executive order would play out to a way that it'd be easier to get it to pass through. Right, just like what they tried with the uh, second um, travel ban. Right. We'll see. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Five. Wild bison born in Banff, Canada for the first time in 140 years. So it's Banff. That was submitted by MacLeod1 to Our World News. So we had actually talked previously about how they helicoptered in an entire herd of bison back into Banff, Canada as part of a repopulation and bringing that species back into the wild. And of that herd, the very first little baby calf was born, and he's adorable. Uh, they are not currently staying out in the, the fields or anything. They have, like, a little house. Uh, it's like a, a soft push area it's like a halfway house essentially for him because they're mostly not ready for that kind of area mm -hmm. so they're just like all right let's ease them into the situation we've got these little basic you know yurts set up yurt mm -hmm. and so the the little bisons are staying in there for now eventually they'll just be taken out and they'll just be wild bisons again yeah but look at this absolutely adorable little little calf there and it looks delicious hey now have you eaten bison yeah. You have? Well, I've eaten buffalo. I don't know if that's much different. I, I, you know, I'm not sure either. What is the difference between a buffalo and a bison? You know, I don't actually think there is one. Did you know that you can say buffalo seven times in a row and it, and it's considered a actual sentence? I thought it was eight times. I, I thought it was seven. I don't know. Uh, buffalo sentence. Pretty buffalo, sure. buffalo, 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 buffalo. It, buffalo, it, buffalo, buffalo, it, buffalo. It is buffalo. eight times. Oh, okay. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. There isn't a difference between buffalo and bison. I have had it. You shouldn't believe everything that you uh, that people tell you on the internet, Nathan. Oh, I don't think Kendall would lie to me in this situation. She might. I. Just to make you look like a fool. I, I do a fairly good job of that myself, thank you. You're not wrong. Four. Jonathan Dem, the Oscar-winning director of Silence of the Lambs, dies at 73. This is submitted by Dangzel to our movies. Are you all right there, Nathan? Can we have a silence for yeah. the lambs? <laughs> you know what? Just because you said that, fuck no. Didn't not no. Wait, fuck no. There you go. It's actually just concerning. It's going to be serious, but I needed to put a pun in there so that my heart wouldn't break more. You know, the thing is, is that this article talks about the other stuff that he made, and I haven't heard of any of it. Of course, you haven't. Hey. Just because I haven't seen anything does not mean that I haven't heard of it. Like, uh, let's see, Shots Fired, Ricky and the Flash, Another Telepathic Thing, A Master Builder. What, like, I don't know what the hell these are. Uh, Why don't you give them a try? There's a bunch of documentaries in here. Rachel Getting Married, don't know. I've heard, of the, I've heard of the Manchurian Candidate. No, you haven't. I, I have, too. Uh, I, I don't know what the truth about Charlie is, beloved. Oh, that would be spoilers if I told you. 
Murder in <laughs> the Murder Incorporated, Philadelphia, famous all over town, married to the mob, swimming to Cambodia, swing shift. And I don't know what these are. That's all right. Silence of the Lambs was a goddamn jam. Uh, Philadelphia. I don't. That's a Tom Hanks movie, apparently. I have a question for you, Michael. What's up? Do you fuck me? What? I'd fuck me. God damn it. I'd fuck me hard. I'm sure you would. I'm glad you have another shirt on under that. I can hear the music in my head. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I need uh, I need this guy. Uh, there we go. Got it. Three. AT and T launches fake five G network in desperate attempt to seem innovative. This was submitted by Steel in the Air to our technology. So they're calling it 5G Evolution, which it means it is not official 5G because the majority of the 5G spectrum has been bought up by Verizon. 5G is going to be the next step up from 4G, in which is going to be completely different technology entirely. That's going to, uh, that it's been reported that's going to revolutionize the oh, way. You're right. I am missing the lipstick, Zach. I'm sorry. The way that you're going to get your internet. Um, I'm going to move this way, by the way, for people on the video because I have to mess with things. But I'll keep talking because I have a microphone that moves. So basically, the 5G technology is going to completely revolutionize the way that we get our internet in the air, essentially. It's going to just reset that, and it's this big, innovative thing. But AT&T isn't, isn't, isn't on that track. So instead, they're calling it 5G Evolution, which is just slightly souped up 4G. And it's also only going to be in 10 select cities across America. So Dumb. What? Dumb. Yeah, but they want you to believe it's 5G. That's a lot of roaming. Roaming's not really a thing that much anymore. Yeah, but all right, so if you can only go to, to fucking five select cities to get Oh, it, no, no, no. If you're not in those cities, this doesn't affect you at all. It's just in those cities, you'll get 5G evolution, which is not that much faster at all. That's stupid. Yep, but they they really want you to think that they're on uh, on the, the development train. Who's got the actual 5G? Uh, no one does right now. It's... It's, like I said, it's new technology. You'd have to rebuild infrastructure. And also, like, none of our phones right now could do 5G because it it's entirely different. It doesn't work the same way that 4G does. So, okay. but the... Per the how, how is it different? I don't know the science behind it well enough. Oh! Bitch! How about you tell me what the fuck it is? All right, I will. Go Do it then. All right, so 4G, right? The way it works is... Does this motherfucker fucking... actually know? Pure science, right? Uh, but 5G is going to work totally different. 5G is going to work mostly on magic. You're just going to have to kind of hope and dream that it works. Pray. Yeah. It's all and about it the should. faith. No, well, no. It's all about magic. Magic and faith are separate. They're different. Not if you try hard enough. No, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like clerics and shit. I mean, like arcane wizards and stuff. How dare you! They're going to sit at the top of towers and, like, launch their fucking... It's going to be their day job, essentially. They're going to launch your messages from one way to another. That sounds terrible. It's actually really fast. It's uh, it's actually amazing. I... You, you have to try it. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Noted. I'll try it. No, I won't. You can buy it for me. No. I, I've got it for you, man. <laughs> Is it also called Magic Mushrooms? No, it's, uh, it, it's, it's called um, LSD. <laughs> Two. Flex Trillerson says sanctions. Yeah, Flex Trillerson, boy. Says sanctions on Russia will remain until Vladimir Putin hands back Crimea to Ukraine. Dude, he was like Putin. Let me flex on your bitch. <laughs> Submitted God by a Akita Bijan to our world news. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I can. I just did. <laughs> okay, so, God damn it! You want me to do it again? No, no, I I'll don't. do it again. I, I'm sure you fucking will. Uh, uh, Josh in the chat room, he is spamming emojis like none other in Facebook yeah, Live, and I, right. I, I love it. It makes me all kinds of happy. 
Like I'm, I'm just. Hey, sit- Marquita's joining in too. Sitting here, uh, staring at it. Hey. Okay. Anyway, so with that, jeez, where was I? Oh, right. Uh, Flex Trillerson, bitch. Yeah. So Flex Trillerson went and did a visit to Russia earlier this month. Um, he has he has returned and said that relations with Russia are at an all time low, probably because because <laughs> fucking Russia. Um, you know, all the hopes for amending things with Russia just are not going well, especially because Russia keeps on sticking their nose in places. And uh, I don't Girl, care. Like, Stop. There's no cocaine there. I don't care how good of friends you are at this point. But uh, th- thank you, Kendall, for also spamming emojis. Yeah, emojis. And Zach. And hi, Marquita. I saw I saw one from Zach. I saw two, three, four, oh, five. Here, there, there, there they come. There will. Oh, oh, there they are. Oh, we got like four. Who can spam the most? Spam harder. It doesn't actually do anything besides make me smile. Um. And anyway, so he said that relations with Russia are at an all time low. The sanctions that the United States has put against Russia is primarily focused on their trade, which has really drastically slammed their economy. Their the the value of the ruble is crumbling down. And they said that they will lift the sanctions once Russia completely agrees to the peace treaty on the on its uh, western border as well as returning the Crimean Peninsula back to Ukraine. Well, I mean, at least we're certain our dominance in one area. Right? I don't know. We're just not going to roll over and be Russia's bitch. Wait, hang on. We're kind of a certain American dominance all over the world right now. We are. We're kind of, we're just like, Like, so like, initially Russia's like, come on, America, let's sit down. Trump, just sit down. We're going to work through this. We're going to be fine. Trump's like, okay, we'll do this. And then like, North Korea got really mouthy, and so did ISIS, and so did Syria. And Trump was like, "Nah, let's fuck him up." And then he got power hungry. He was like, "Holy shit!" The fifth, if we can fifty-nine missiles up, over there, a Moab over there, Russia, I'll beat your ass. If, if we can fuck them up, then they can cry me a river. You son of a bitch. It's, a it's, my, it's my favorite you pun when we're talking s- about Crimea. I hate you. Oh my god, why do I do this show with you? Because you like Putin up with me? It's a pun. I'm going to go on to the next topic now. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. One. Jeff Goldblum joins Jurassic World sequel. <laughs> this is submitted by Neil Poonhandler to our movies. Uh, did, did, I don't think you saw what I named today's episode uh, because it, it's somewhat a pun. And the, today's episode title is uh, The World Blooms Gold. Damn, that's really good. Thanks. Um, also, I'm super excited because if there's two Facebook groups, or not groups, pages that I love absolutely the most, it's the same picture of Michael Sarah every day, which is pretty good. And the same picture of Jeff Goldblum every day. You're damn right, because he's just like, Shh, and I'm just like, oh, you're making me a hot. Dude, Jeff Goldblum still looks fucking great, by the way. Dude, so I saw this fucking gif the other day of Jeff Goldblum without his shirt on, breathing like he does in Jurassic Park, Park, right? Yeah. And then it's the other guy from Jurassic Park lying on top of him. That's a really old gif. I haven't seen it ever, and it's gold. It is gold. It's also, from- I forget I forget his name, but uh, it, the other guy, the main character of the first couple dress or the first Jurassic Park, um, my my uh old D and D uh player the, that I played with uh she met him. Cool. I was really I was like holy shit. Seriously. I was like look look at that fuck. picture of good Jeff Goldblum. He looks fucking look at him. I I was excited. I was like clever girl. It won't open. Why isn't it opening? You don't need to open shit. Look at the fucking live feed. I, okay, it finally pops up. Thanks. What are you talking about? It's been up there for a while. Your feed must be behind. It is. It is. Reload it then. No, because we're at the end anyway. No, we're not. We still got, like, I, like, I don't know, 15 minutes to go. Yeah, I know, but at this point, I don't think it matters. Are you going to put any graphics up? I don't know. Maybe. Don't shut up. Either way, so I, I, there's not a whole lot more to say besides Jeff Goldblum has agreed that he's going to reprise his role as Dr. Ian, what What was his last name? Malcolm. Dr. Ian Malcolm, Malcolm yep. um, uh, in the Jurassic World 2 movie, or has it actually have a name? Whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. There was Jurassic Park. Right. Yeah. Oh, no, no, never mind. Jurassic World. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I think Jurassic World is just being called Jurassic World 2, I think. Yeah, I, I think so, too. 
So, yeah, that's cool. I, I really like Jeff Goldblum. He's one of those guys that I'm like, oh, yeah, I really love that actor. But it's never like one of the ones that I think of when I'm like, name your favorite five actors. He's never on the list because I never remember him. That's, that's you know, that's fair. But, oh, my God, whenever I remember him, he is like the hunk of man. Nathan, uh, can you can you even name your top five actors? Uh, Gerard Butler. Specifically actors. Afterwards, I'm going to make you do actresses. Okay, Gerard Butler. Okay. Edward Norton. Who the fuck? Um, Wait, hang on. I, I, I'm going to have to Google people. <laughs> no, you you keep going. I just need to remind myself who Edward Norton is. Ah, uh, fuck you. Um, Russell Crowe. Okay. Uh, Vin Diesel. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Um, and Elijah Wood. Really? I really like Elijah Wood. Um, so... All right. So, mine, count them up for me. Yeah. Um, without a doubt, one of them is Christian Bale. One. Love that guy so much. Mm. Um, sh uh, shit, what's, what the hell is his name? I can never remember his goddamn... William Fitchner. Two. Uh, William Defoe. Three. Um, oh, God. William Defoe is really good. What, what, what's his name? Uh, uh, yeah, Carl Urban. Okay. Yeah, Judge Dredd. Yeah, he's pretty good. I, I really like Carl Urban. He's not. He doesn't always get the best movie roles, but God, he's a damn have good you, actor. Have you watched Dredd? No. You would fucking absolutely love that shit. I believe you. 137%, dude. Um, who who else falls into my favorite actors? You got one more, you got one more. Yeah, I know. I gotta make it count, though. I gotta put some value in it. Shit. Hmm. I'm trying to think of an actor that I w I've watched a lot of their movies. Jim Carrey is hard to pass oh, out. Oh, yeah, Jim Carrey. Robin Williams, really. I I've watched more Jim Carrey movies than I have Robin Williams. Alan Rickman. See, here's the thing. I really love Alan Rickman, but uh, he's... Ah, oh, who's the lady who did Professor McGonagall? I don't know. So, oh, well, I mean, we'll move into great. we'll move into that next. <laughs> yeah, yes. Sir Ian McKellen. Zach Rohirrim! Mr. Carl Urban. Such a great actor. God, I love that guy. Anyway, so uh, actress's Perfect. time. Go for it, Tom son. Hanks. That's a good one, Kendall. That is, that is a Tom. Uh, okay, Um, female, or just actresses? Yep. Okay, Natalie Dormer. Yep. Natalie Dormer. Can't shut no, up. Natalie Dormer. No, you fucking suck. Natalie Dormer and Natalie Dormer. Okay, so strike that. Now give me five that aren't Natalie Dormer. Ah! <laughs> and are... three things that are Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan, and Jackie Chan. Ha! I got him. <laughs> anyway, so give me five that aren't Natalie Dormer. Oh, Joshua in the chat room says Ryan. Ah, Ryan Reynolds. That's a fucking good one. Uh, Jason Statham. Eh, sure. Tom Hanks, yes. Jim Five Carrey and actresses. Robin Williams. I'm going to go Tina Fey. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Amy Poehler. Yes, yeah, yeah, yep, that, yep, mm-hmm. I'm going to go Aubrey... Oh, fuck, what was her last name? Hepburn? No. Plaza? Yeah, Aubrey Plaza. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go... Kat Dennings. Uh, yeah, Kat Dennings and Anna Kendrick. Okay. Um, let's see. So on my end, uh, five actresses, uh, Amanda Seyfried, mm -hmm. um, Sigourney Weaver. Oh God. Yeah. Um, let's see. Betty White. <laughs> no, you, 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 what were your, what, you, you said one that, oh yeah. Um, Amy Poehler. Um, I, I could, I, I can pass on Tina Fey. Um, I, I like her. No, I, I'm not saying that, that, that she's bad at all, but she's definitely not one of the ones I'm like, yeah! Um, Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, that was a sick one! She was great in the first Resident Evil movie, and she was fucking amazing in Machete. She's just a, a, a real good actress. Um, um, I wasn't counting. I know, I'm at four. Okay. But I'm not sure who who the fifth one is. Rachel McAdams. I don't. I, I can't think of who. The, see, the, this is the other problem though. Is I'm so bad with names. No, no. Rachel McAdams is okay, but I feel like she, she appears in too many rom coms. Yes, yeah, yes. 
Um, shit. <laughs> Zach, all the Chris's. <laughs> um, we got to think of a good one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Who is the lady who played Aunt Josephine in the new a series of unfortunate events? Oh, uh, I well, I I'm, I have Google open. Meryl Streep. It, no, not Meryl Streep. That was from the the movie series of unfortunate events. I'm talking about the TV show series of unfortunate events. Oh, no, Meryl Streep is actually a really strong contender. In that this that 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 is a, a real real yeah. Um, sh uh, let me see if this. Pulls she was up. also in um. She was also in Power Man. Luke Cage. I mean, I'm sorry. A series of unfortunate events. Uh, what the hell? I don't see it in here. Oh, God. All right. You keep talking about yours. I'll find it. Violet Baudelaire. Is that who it is? No. Oh, oh, though, oh God. The, the chick who played Violet Baudelaire in the first... Um, in the in the movie, she also played the lead in Sucker Punch, and that was also pretty good. Natalie Portman's also an awesome actress. Natalie Portman, that's a good one. Um, Alfre Alfre Wood Woodard is the who you're looking for. Yeah, she's great. She was a fucking fantastic Aunt Josephine. Damn. No, she didn't play Misty Knight. She played um. Oh, I forget her name. Cottonmouth's... Um, Wait a minute. Tara Strong's in the she? new series of Unfortunate Events? Wait, she is? Yeah, she... She... I don't... Sunny... She Jacqueline? Sunny Baudelaire? Duh, she's the baby? Apparently. Tara Strong is... What? I have to go with Tara Strong. I know she's not much of a... I don't think she's ever appeared in any live action anything. Oh, shit. Then Mark Hamill and Bruce Campbell. I'm adding those to my dudes. <laughs> so, so do we need to go into top five voice actors? Is that what you're saying? No. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of actors I absolutely adore. Uh, for instance, um, fuck, what was his name? Uh, Jeff Bridges. Yeah, Jeff Bridges, real good. There's just, there's so many good <laughs> Kurt, actors. Kurt Russell. I Yeah, I said Kurt Russell. Did you? Yeah. Okay. No, you said Russell Crowe, not Kurt Russell. Uh, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Kurt Russell's awesome, though. Very Kurt Russell used to be the best actor. He was the best actor during his time, for sure. He's still a damn good actor. He is, but I'm telling you, for his, like, during that time period that he was, like, super big, he was the best. I know there's another actress that I just really like a lot, but I cannot think of her name. I like Whoopi. Whoopi has been some Whoopi good Whoopi Goldberg, shit. yeah. Channing Tatum. I yeah, feel like yeah. Zach is just picking attractive men. Dude, no, Channing Tatum's great, though, because, like, have you watched 21 Jump Street? That I shit's have. hilarious. That movie is way better than I thought it was going to be. Did you watch 22 Jump Street? I have not. It's even better. Really? In my opinion, it had the Lucas Brothers in it, and I absolutely love the Lucas Brothers. Ooh, Zach did just say Robert Downey Jr. That guy's pretty, is really good, pretty yeah. damn good. I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! All right, Nathan, what'd you care about in the last 24 hours? Um, in the last 24 hours, um, I cared about having to play that stupid Heroes of the Storm game again. I'm sorry, man. That fucking I, blows. Are you done? I just Did want... you get it over with? No, I have two games for this week, and then I have to play five games each week for the next three weeks. Kill yourself. I, I full, I fully, I fully will. I might. That game is not good. It has such a good idea behind it. It is a perfect idea. Yes, I want to play as all of the heroes and the things that I, I adore growing up with. Um, oh, fucking Zach got me a Pokemon t-shirt. Never mind, that's what that is. Fucking love that shit. God, it's so cool looking. What is it? It's um, it's a shirt that I'm, I want to wear it to work. I have to screen it with my boss. But it's a it's a button-up shirt that's got, um, it's all black and then it's got uh, the, the starters and Pikachu all over it. Cool. Um, my turn. Eight. Nope. <laughs> Got it. I cared about Murica memes. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed. <laughs> I shared like fucking thirty of them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're awesome. <laughs> they're, 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 they're the worst because it's all about being a a fucking freedom toting gun swinging murican, and they're hilarious because they hit a little too close to the truth most of the time. Yeah.
Yeah. I love other countries making fun of us because if you can't make if you can't make fun of yourself, if you can't let other people make fun of you, then what's the point in even laughing, you know? Well, and the other thing is, is like they make fun of us and they're right, and then we're like, yeah, but we have freedom, and, and literally that is that is an ad, that is a response to anything is like you guys are blah blah blah, yeah, but we got freedom, like, <laughs> <laughs> and you can just respond to everything that way, like. Yep. Man, you know, you guys have to do blah, 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 and that's lame. Yeah, but at least we're free. It's true. God damn it. All right. <laughs> yeah, you did. But Zach says, yeah, you did. Filled my damn feed. Good. You know what else is free? Uh, um, America? Downloading the iReddit podcast. <laughs> that's true. But if you wanted to not be free... It's the worst sales pitch ever. If you, <laughs> Patreon. Oh, well, Kendall just said something interesting, and I watched the video of it, and I was like, God damn it, America. Kendall was like, I had my daughter put ammunition back into its packaging for a fine motor activity. Most American thing I've ever done. That's amazing. Kendall, you just quickly became one of my more uh, favorite people. Kendall's pretty great. But, yeah. Uh, so... It, it, the, the show's free to download. You can listen to it anywhere you want. You can watch us live on Facebook Monday through Thursday at 10 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Otherwise, you can you can watch it on YouTube if you want to see the video version. Otherwise, the audio version is available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, basically any podcaster podcatcher that you can think of. You'll be able to find it there. Podcatcher? Yeah, that's what they're called. That, is that actually what they're called? Yep, podcatcher. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. But if you would like to support the show and give us money, and which we would love for you to do, um, patreon.com slash daily internet. Josh, why, well, Josh in the chat room says, da fuck, bro. Why is he upset? I don't understand. You get in late? Maybe. Well, he was here earlier spamming emojis. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Otherwise, we just love for you to follow and share us on social media. We're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. All of those are at iReditCast. Um... Yeah, and or just leave us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, any of those five stars, and just say whatever the hell you want. They're gonna, you have to write something in there, but just for, I don't, I don't give a shit. Compliment Nathan on his beard. Give me a limerick. Sure, Josh. What do you a mean? A limerick about shaving. Why are you chopped livers? I don't understand. I love your face, Josh. I don't, I don't know why you're upset. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I need to tell you, though, legally that Kevin McLeod does our music at Incompetech.com. If you want to send feedback into the show, you're more than welcome to do so. Send us in an email to our inbox, which is feedback.irita at gmail.com, or you can call and leave us a voicemail at 508-738-2278. Nathan, uh, anything before we go? Hmm. No? No, not cool. that I can think of. Everybody, that is your 277th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan Wood. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.